G'day guys, uh, part two external video uh, for the Dirt Rider 2006. We're going through, so I'll be showing you this light switch you mentioned in the video number one. It's an isolation light switch, sorry, the isolation light switch in the top there. There's a light switch here by the door, here's your LED light switch here, as you can see. Uh, so there's a light switch for that one. Uh, in the here, we've got a main door, so main door is very important to so lock it up just like that. It's very important to make sure you help it a little bit. Okay, and then you can close it. Once you turn it, make sure the key is straight if you have to take the key out. If it locks in, that's the door locked. Unlocking position, as you can see, turn it. If you have to take the key out, make sure the key is straight before you take it out. It's very, very important. Make sure you don't force it. Um, and we'll lock, lock, take it like that. There's a little over here. Then you can park it here for the bin. Now, to unlock the door from inside, you've got to lock in and unlocking is clearly symbols here. Unlocking, that means it will not allow it to open. Locking will allow it to open as you can see it's moving inside. To separate the screen, you have to be in unlock position. Drop the lever down and lift the lever up at the same time, and you'll see the screen is separating. And you can lock that down. If you like to, you can lock that as well if you like. So nice and simple. To put it back in position, it goes nice and simple. Nice and simple. Put the key, then you've got that lock. Coming forward from here, you've got the finger table, the two keys to drop out, uh, 20 kilos maximum accuracy than that. You've got a double 12 volt for the TV, double, uh, 240 for the TV, and you've got the uh, antenna connection for the TV. The TV is supplied, uh, comes with a bracket as well, uh, and legs, so the legs are mounted on it, you can the TV on the finger table or the separate table if you like. Uh, coming down here, you've got the, uh, this particular caravan is fitted with a side of the kitchen, so I'll have to show you how that works as well. So basically it's nice and simple, I've got like two grey uh, um, taps and press it down, and you use that side of the kitchen to come out. It's nice the kitchen, just nice and simple like that. There's plenty of YouTube videos and things like that, they're pretty straightforward. Uh, you've got a stubby holder, as you can see here, and then you've got a little channel here, that parts in just like that, this little channel here. And you can either park the study holder there and the can opener and then multi accessories you can buy from the bedding shop if you, if you want. Um, before you put the kitchen back, make sure you've got to take that off because it's going to keep inside the tunnel. So you can put the back in here. For storage, it's instruction manual that you can just buy it on your wrist. Uh, or you can do it on YouTube, come back. Three uh, burner gas, there's a little uh, cap for the kitchen as well. Uh, tray, a slide out tray, just like the operation uh, thing. Uh, you also got the little uh, jewel underneath here as well, and you've got a chopping board here as well. Uh, same ignition as the inside, so ignite here, clip and pull, and you can see there's dot marks and different ignites. There is a 12 volt uh, connection here, and there's a 12 volt supply uh, right here, so there you go. and you can just plug that in as well, and then to ignite that. Uh, underneath, also, you'll see the hoses and the gas, and straight where that plugs in. Back in, and once you stop, you can see push it down and release that. Make sure it locks in nicely. Underneath, here yeah, we've done the uh, a hot water cooler with a connection and the gas burner here as well. The yellow tap again is the third one uh, in the videos together. It's a yellow tap with isolation for the gas. If you don't have a use for it for a period of time, make sure you turn it off. Uh, there's no gas coming through that way uh, from the pipes and things like that. Collecting. Uh, while we're here, we'll also show you the little uh, drop down legs as well. So pull it out and drop it like that. And you can either use the drill bit or the uh, uh, connection, uh, which is like a stabilizing bit for fitting, and then you can drop it down. Uh, okay, make sure it's right in position, and put it back up. Simple as that. Four uh, stabilizer legs, right for each of Coming down forward, uh, you have gas bottles. So, the gas bottles are very important. Say this green lever is facing to this gas pedal now, which means we're using this gas pedal at the moment. Use one gas pedal now completely so you know you're halfway through the gas usage. If you want to turn it off, make sure that goes on to know gas coming from either side and make sure that's not nice and tight. Uh, with the gas bottles, always try to remember you go uh, uh, rather sloppy the bottles, trying to get a refill so the right size bottles are old. They're not old, they're you know, rusty, things like that. So I try to get them for the purpose of the uh, Obviously, if you hitch up, you've got all the plugs and pins for the reverse camera, grey water connection, uh, just sort of grey, and there's some black ribbons, and some black LPFC, which is here, will light up when it's connected to the car, uh, double checking point, and obviously, trailer plug that will go through a brake light side, lots of things like that. Uh, brakes, nice and simple. Uh, just put it on this part of the hitching part, 
uh, the will show you that it will be there with you. Uh, here you've got a gas, the tap. Now the tap is just a water tap, the water coming out of it. If you've got a water pump on and if you're using uh, the tank water, then that has to, the pump has to be turned on as well to get the water from the tanks. Uh, mesh on the A-frame, nice and simple. Other side of the tunnel here. This is where you find your uh, your stabilizer leg fitting. Then you've got a, uh, your, your bottle jack and uh, you've got a, the thing to do to, to up the nuts for the wheel. This is your compliance plates uh, as well. Make sure you read that, understand the weights on that correctly. This van, as you can see, tear sitting at 25, uh, 27, which is what it feels empty with no water, no fluid, anything on it. It's got a dry weight or a tear weight. Uh, and on the empty van, the van sitting at 132 kilo ball weight uh, with everything fitted to the van but not loaded uh, like you're going on a trip. And maximum ATM on this van is 3.3 tonne, 3300 kilo, as you can see here. Uh, so make sure you understand the weights, make sure you get loaded, take the van to public way bridge, make sure you get loaded, uh, and then you like you can trip and you understand how much limitation you've got available and things like that. This plate belongs to Cruise Master Suspension. Anytime you get Cruise Master Suspension fitted, make sure you enter that in your system, make sure you take it up to your uh, way, uh, uh, warranty uh, service page on the Cruise Master website. They will give you an extra two years of extended warranty at no charge. Make sure you register that yourself as a customer. They'll get you to enter some personal details and invoice and things like that. That's the number they'll ask you to enter, which is serial number for that uh, particular uh, uh, suspension. So make sure you enter that in. Uh, so that's your uh, side of tunnel boot. If there's no still on a kitchen, then the, the tunnel boot will be on the passenger side of the caravan. And on this side, you've got the uh, area explorer plug. So basically, that plug belongs to TV. If you are in the area which is uh, the Carol Park, the reception where they are, they have a wide lead uh, coming from the uh, antenna dishes and all that they have fitted, and you can connect it there and obviously the signal coming through inside. So you've got a 240 power inlet or a generator inlet, a generator or a 240 available for Karen Park at home. That plugs in here, they will charge the Karen automatically. And then you've got the, the switch here, which is like the okay, safety switch, uh, just like the homes. Okay, that's that for you. Coming down here, um, you've got the uh, Trailing the jacking points in this particular one were fitted, uh, and then you've got the main town water pressure here. Now, your main town water connects in this particular van, the way it's fitted, it will plug in there, and then you've got a tap here, two taps, but each belongs to each tank. So, once you've got a town water plugged in, if you want to use a front tank, filling the front tank, you just open this tap, and the water will go in that tank. The, in the tank, once the tank is full, you can see the gauge is inside or you'll have the water flowing out of the breather, which means it's full. Let's finish it off, then you can use that second one as well, or do it together, they will fill the tank, second tank. If you cut turn it off, and it may water connected, that means you want to go inside and get through the town water, and you're not touching the tanks, okay? Use of tanks is very important that you make sure you have to use a, uh, a water pump if you're free camping, don't have a town water available. If you have a town water available, use that and make sure the pump has to be turned off, otherwise too much pressure with the water going through the pumps, uh, it might leak. Uh, grey water, this is fitted with grey water, so you've got the blue tap here, that's closed at the moment, a bit of water in the grey water tank, release that and it will have water come through the tank here as well, as you can see. Okay, uh, the fitting required for this is a 43 mil reducer to 27 mil, so very important to get the reducer, as you can uh, uh, pretty commonly get uh, 26, uh, 27, 28 mil at uh, grey water pipes. Very important to read on this one here. This is the prevention of video number one. Uh, so you, that's the toilet as it sits, and you can release that off. It's just like a little uh, uh, handle. Uh, to release that off, it's nice and easy, it comes off. Now, this one, to release the uh, uh, all the stuff in the toilet, take the little cap off, and you can then tip it off. Okay? Once you finish, put, put the cap back on. There's no more like that. And then slide that out, the little bracket, grey bracket, and open that orange valve. This belongs to uh, the Thetford toilets, the uh, dimensions are similar to Thetford, so we're using this van. So we use that, and you can see the open cassette in here. You'll need about two litre water and a toilet chemical dropped in here. Uh, once you finish that, close it back on normal, close it back on, and that back in position and slide it in. Uh, if you release, if you're dumping your, your, your gear, and then you find it's an airlock, you can allow, push that in, allow a bit of 
uh, pressure release involved basically for, for a uh, air tight pressure release that uh, and then allow it to uh, dump it through. Once you've finished that, you'll see that it's come up and uh, it goes to position and then clicks in here. That means the water, uh, the, the toilet cassette is sitting in the wrong position. This is your, uh, your 28 litre uh, uh, Swift hot water system, gas electric. As you can see, there's no access here, which means it does not require the fuel anode like the old system. Uh, here you've got the reverse camera. Uh, dealer will supply you the reverse camera uh, car side of it, and then for everything external shower, bottom for water, just like I said, with the simulation with water inside, um, and it's got a hot water connection as well. So that completes the video part number two for this caravan. Any question? Uh, give us a little time and have a good Thank you very much for your time.